these MLB teams got their name, the AL East. We'll start off with the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles got their... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to guess how the Orioles got their name? Sorry. I don't want to guess. I want to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. It's the state bird. I mean, that's basically it. Yeah. The state bird. Well, read, me, read me the real thing. Um, Is there like a... Yeah, I got a, a, a typed out answer for you. So the Baltimore Orioles got their name from a historical connection to the city. In the state of Maryland, the name Orioles comes from the Baltimore Oriole, a small black and orange bird that is native to the eastern United States and is a state bird of Maryland. So there you go. The bird was so, named why? after George Calvert, Lord Baltimore, whose family crest featured similar colors. The, the bird was named after him? Yes. After who? George Calvert, Lord Baltimore. Okay, I didn't hear Oriole anywhere in that name. His family crest featured similar colors. How they came up with the word Oriole is a great question. <laughs> r- r- Roger that. Um, next, we have the New York Yankees. Any guesses on the Yankees? Uh, oh, what's above Maryland? Pennsylvania. And what's above that? New York. <laughs> so, I mean, they're they're from Yankee Town. I don't. Uh, was there like a? So the whole North and South thing is from the Civil War, right? Yep, I'd say that's a good, uh, yep. And anything above the Mason-Dixon line was the North, Mm -hmm. which were nicknamed Yankees. Mm -hmm. And what would the similar name be for the South? Johnny Reb. Fucking retards. Uh, Wait, what'd you say? Johnny Reb. That's one guy. Rebels. Oh, the Reb. Okay, so the Rebels and the Yankees. So was there like a larger, I'm going to go with maybe New York always had like the larger population. So that was like where most of the Yankees lived. Okay, okay. That's the best I can give you. I don't know. So I'm the, a rebel. So the New York Yankees got their name through a series of transitions from earlier team names and locations. The r- franchise originally started in 1901 as the Baltimore Orioles. No connection to the current Baltimore Orioles, <laughs> one of the eight no, charter no, franchises whatsoever. of the American League. In 1903, the team moved to New York was initially called the New York Highlanders. A name derived from their home field, Hilltop Park, which was located on one of the highest points in Manhattan. The name Highlanders also had a connection to the team's first president, Joseph Gordon, who had ties to the British military unit called the Gordon Highlanders. However, the name Yankees was also used informally by the media and fans from earlier on. By 1913, the team officially adopted the name New York Yankees as it was simpler more American and easier to fit in newspaper headlines. The name has stuck ever since, and Yankees have become one of the most iconic teams in sports history. Uh, So when did this uh, George Calvert guy, when was he relevant? If I had to guess, 1700s? It's just very bizarre to me out of all. First Baron of Baltimore, George Calvert. I'm calling bullshit on the fact that there's no relation whatsoever to the current Baltimore Orioles. He is 1604 to, oh no, 1579 to 1632. 15? Mm-hmm. 1579 to 1632. Hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you the Baltimore Orioles? And you're going to say, oh, there's no relation to the current Baltimore Orioles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have anything about the Orioles on this article here. Because that was in 1901, where the Baltimore Orioles was established in 1954. The current Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, but to say it has not... I understand if the franchises have no relation. But well, they were the first it, one it to said, have it. The Yankees But were. it said the name has no relation, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. How about their arrival, the Boston Red Sox? How'd they get their name? I'd venture to say they wore red socks. Hmm. That's a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> So the Boston Red Sox got their name as part of a trend in early 20th century baseball to adopt colorful and distinctive team names. Franchise was established in 1901 as one of the original teams of the American League, initially known simply as the Boston Americans or Boston American League team. (laughs) Sounds like Washington Washington football Mm -hmm. team. Yeah. In 1907, (laughs) team owner John I. Taylor decided to adopt an official team name choosing Red Sox, originally spelled S-O-C-K-S. This name was a nod to the traditional red stockings worn by the team. 
There you go. The choice was inspired by earlier so, Boston teams in the 19th century. The Boston Red Stockings, who eventually became the Atlanta Braves, were one of the most successful say, baseball be teams. The, yeah. Okay. And then the spelling was later shortened to SOX, which was a common stylistic choice at the time, similar to how the Chicago White Stockings were shortened to the White Sox. The name Red Sox has been the team's identity ever since. Mm. Okay. Let's. I mean, you got it. They they went. Okay. They wore red. Yeah. St- stocking slash socks that's that's it um let's go up into into old canadia how do you think toronto blue jays got their name uh it's the province bird Mm. nice uh knowledge on provinces there you go (laughs) i'm here for you i can't provide much but so the toronto blue jays got their name through a fan contest held by the team's ownership group when toronto was awarded a major league baseball expansion franchise in 1976 the team owners Labatt Brewing Company wanted to involve the public in choosing the name. Over 30,000 entries were submitted, and the name Blue Jay was ultimately selected. For color association, the name fit well with the team's color scheme, which was primarily blue. This also tied in with the branding of Labatt. Uh, bird connection, like the Baltimore Orioles, St. Louis Cardinals, Blue Jays had a natural uh, athletic connotation. Canadian identity, the Blue Jays a bird native to Canada, making it a fitting choice. And the name Toronto Blue Jays was officially announced on August 12th, 1976. 76? That's okay. So I got to look something up here. Okay. So that makes sense. I didn't, I didn't realize that they were so late, so I didn't know if they were named after or before because Labatt's... I was going to include this. So Labatt, their like signature beer is Labatt Blue. Yeah. Like that's what it's called. So I didn't know if they went with the Blue Jays as like a nod to that, or if the Blue Jays, like if Labatt had other beers. I should have finished like, well, reading the Blue Jays because it says it's also tied in with a branding of Labatt's flagship beer, Labatt Blue. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> I only know about Labatt's because that's what Dad drinks. That's like the uh, that's like the Bud Light of Canada. Mm-hmm. They also have so. apparently really delicious ketchup chips that I've never had before. In Canada, that's like their most famous. Like Labatt's or just uh, Lay's? Oh, just Canada in general. Mm-hmm. It's like <laughs> ketchup. Got good moose too. <laughs> Meeson, yeah, they had a uh, Meeson. Ah, uh, that's a Meeson. Has some ketchup chips. I've heard they're good. <clears throat> you have to text so, Kyle. What's his name? Was that his name? Check Kyle, this, the black guy? No, our Canadian dude. Oh. I was hammered, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I ain't got that motherfucker's number. I think I want to pay roaming charges. <laughs> uh, all right. How about uh, the last one? The Tampa Bay Rays, formerly the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, I feel like I looked this up when I went to the game because I know why they changed it. Mm-hmm. Well, that's part but of the answer. How about I Devil how Rays? They, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how they came upon the Devil Rays. Okay, so what about the why they changed it? Uh, because it was a different type of stingray native to the area, and they also wanted to incorporate the Florida sun, sunshine state aspect and the sun rays, so they just went with rays. Nice. Okay, so... But I don't know the devil rays thing. The Tampa Bay rays got their name through a process that reflected both the local geography... I get it. Reflected? Uh-huh. Like the sun rays? <laughs> And the team's okay, evolution over time. So initial name, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, when Tampa Bay was awarded a major league team in 1995, the team was originally named the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. The name Devil Rays was chosen in reference to the manta ray, a sea creature common to the waters around Tampa. The name also symbolized the team's connection to the marine environment of the Gulf Coast. Now rebranded it to the Rays in 2008, The team decided to rebrand itself as the Tampa Bay Rays. The ownership wanted to shift the team's image and focus more on a positive, broader identity. The word Rays was retained, but it was now intended to represent the Rays of Sunshine that are a defining characteristic of Florida known as the Sunshine State. This rebranding also coincided with the team's emergence as a competitive force in MLB. So the simplified name Rays allowed the team to maintain their connection to the original identity, but also adapting a more versatile and positive image. Since the change, the Rays have become known for their innovative approaches and consistent success on the field. Not just not this year. So two things. Another thing I remember that was part of the reason they changed their name is because the Catholic community had 
per usual voice their input on the oh, devil. devil race. Mm. And then also I remember seeing when I was looking it up, uh, I'd guess within the next couple of years, they're going to be the St. Petersburg race. You think? That's what it said, because they're not in Tampa. Yeah, but they're also building them a brand new spanking stadium. Isn't that in Tampa? It's in St. Pete, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, you also got the Washington Redskins. Well, you got the Miami Dolphins that aren't in Miami. Well, they're in Miami Gardens, so it's still. <laughs> but I mean, well, you want to go down that path? You got the Dallas Cowboys who yep. play in Arlington. That's and right. Prior played in Irving. That's right. You got the New York Jets and Giants they're who aren't even in that state. They're in New Jersey. Yeah, like that whole division is just fucked. Where's Philly? Philly isn't Philly. New England's just a region. It's not even a place. Yeah, like what the fuck is that? <laughs> Call them the American Patriots. <laughs> Isn't um Bucks. the Rams don't play in Los Angeles? They play in um uh what's that? I think it's yeah, it's a do. um oh what's the name of the neighborhood they're in then? It's like it's not Compton, but it's like one of those not great Carrollwood. Oh, it's Inglewood, right? Inglewood. I know it's, it was a wood. Yeah, yeah, it's Inglewood. No, so is Inglewood technically Los Angeles? Uh, or is it Inglewood? Or is that just the name of the neighborhood? Uh, there's so many links. Uh, let's. It's a. Uh... So L.A. popped up, but I don't know if that was. Uh... Well, here I'll tell you what. If I go to maps.google.com, mm-hmm. type in. I literally just looked at it. What's the stadium called? Uh, SoFi. SoFi, yeah. SoFi wow. Stadium. It says Englewood, California. But if I zoom out, so they're not L.A. proper, but like a suburb. It looks like. Okay, I mean that's okay. It's it's definitely better than like Landover, Maryland. Yeah. For the Washington so like Redskins. If, if Melbourne was like a major U.S. city and a team played in Palm Bay and they were called Melbourne. Yeah. That's what, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So that makes sense. 